site with you, the water run off, all right? Yeah. Peter so it's back on yeah. one of those, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, big time. I mean, not that we get to keep the extra, but at least we we got all of those bonus. Oh, yeah. 
this is a printed position there. So I would just throw my signature down there. that little work session afterwards is just agreement amongst ourselves that before we do any work on this guy's land, it's just that we'll do a site, at least one select, and then we'll do a site walk with him to indicate yeah, where I've already been there. Yeah, okay, but just we can put the stakes in so that when Bob is there, we know that we operate. Yeah, Bob was there. I'll call him. Okay, okay excellent. Um, we can still go out there. But. Right. Um, yeah, I think, Lenny, prior to starting the work, it would be a good idea to put some stakes out and have the guys say, okay. Right. And we can just reference that fact of the yeah. meeting that you met with him and you, you'd staked out where it was going to be. Okay, because he's had some contact with both Bob and the property owner. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Any questions on the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The action folder. Mm -hmm. And you got your uh, initials on this stuff to Bob mm -hmm. for digging up. Yeah. Yeah, the only one I didn't see is the actual phone numbers. Okay. Oh, 
um, there's a single action folder for the one that we're putting on Stephen's room. Oh, I didn't. Oh, Lane's got it. There's a couple photographs that are saying the same thing. It's just it's right there. Oh. I'll get it. I'll have to get back to one of the two. This week presented was three hundred twenty-two thousand three hundred thirty-five dollars and seventy cents. The primary portion of three hundred thousand was for school payment. I make a motion that we accept the manifest as presented. Second, Second from John. Any discussion? Lane? Nope. All those in favor say aye. 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 We have two sets of minutes. We had a work session on the uh, uh, October 10th with the Eklund Associates, and I make a motion that we accept the minutes presented of the work session of October 10th. Is Second. Um, any discussion? No. Nope. Not all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And Aye. the meeting minutes are regular October 10th selectman meeting minutes. I make a motion we accept them as presented. Second. Second by John. Uh, any discussion? No. Nope. None of that. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Uh, before I get into public comment, I want everybody to remind everybody that there will be a public hearing on the proposed changes to cha transfer station fees at 5 o'clock after which the selectmen will be conducting a work session. Um, it's normally on the fourth Tuesday of the month. It's generally not a regular meeting, but it's a work session that we've been doing every month, and it's a system that's been working out rather well. So, um, 
also after this meeting there was a scheduled budget hearing but that did get uh, postponed uh, selectmen will be staying after the normal course of the meeting to do a little work session uh, one of the things we'll be discussing is uh, trying to establish a method uh, so that the monies at the transfer station will be handled and how we'll do receipts and stuff like that and then figure out how to get that into the job description uh, other things that may come up tonight Uh, other things that may come up tonight may get added to that list as we go along. Uh, that being said, it's public comment, and as everybody knows, if there's a particular concern about an employee or somebody that does business with the town, please get in touch with a selectman, and we will respond. But uh, we have to be careful of how, how we conduct ourselves at a public meeting. That being said, anything for public comment? Mr. Ojanti. I wasn't at the last meeting, yeah. but I watched it. And it's pretty clear to me, but I knew it from the beginning, that Mr. Meisner has an issue with anybody who isn't who he picks. He can go and measure what gravel needs to be over a culvert but can't see if you drive around any road in the town of Effingham that the mowing wasn't done to specifications. You hired an engineer to do Stevens Road Bridge. The engineer signs off on it. He's still not happy with it because of who was given the contract. Well, Let me finish it. And, and you don't need to respond. Right. I just am putting this out there because I've known it for a long time. He shouldn't be doing the roads because when he used to, when Evans was doing the roads and you'd come in and complain, Mr. Meisner would say, not my job. If you complained about the winter roads, not my job. No, they're doing fine. Well, we ended up with great ditches, flat roads, and piles of dirt on the side of the road that are still there in some places. And in other places, the town paid to have them removed when battles came in. I think Lenny should be doing the roads. He is available pretty much all the time. He has no extra grind with anyone. We're getting into the winter road contract, and I don't believe that Evans can do anything wrong under Mr. Meisner. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And again, on the roads, on the roadside mowing, it isn't just on you. That doesn't say much for the contractor that you hired, that if you're supposed to do seven feet, you'd have to be a complete, let's not get it's into difficult. name calling, but yeah, you, you, you would you. have to know that you're not giving the town what you were hired to do. So I would assume maybe next year they'll do it for nothing. Like you said, I didn't have to respond. And no. I'm going to play that card right now. No. 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 I just wanted to put okay. that out there. Thank you. Uh, but I would like to see the selectmen uh, put Lenny in charge of the road. Okay. Anything else? Pump? Yes. Uh, I'll just, just for the minutes, but it's Mr. Lawrence Edwards. Was there a board vote to put John in as the road person? Well, to tell you the truth, I've talked with Bob Battles. I'm pretty sure Lenny's talked with him a couple of times, and I know John has. Um, so I'm not, I, at this time, I'm not operating under the impression that there is a single person that ends up talking about these things. No, but in the past, we always designated a selectman to be the road person. I would say, I so remember you John volunteering. When I, I was in as yeah. a selectman, yeah. has there been a board, board vote? to put John in as the road person. I, I don't remember it being in a vote. I remember John volunteering to do it. So there's no, no vote on it? So there's, so there's no, you're still the road person? Yep. <laughs> I, 
as I said in the beginning, I don't think there is one particular road person. Um, I, I, Lenny, if you remember that we took a vote on it. I, I don't, don't remember. I don't remember taking a vote on it. It's something that John said that he was willing to do. And, um, but I do know that the, all three of us have been involved in parts of any road decision that's been made. Um, so, if, okay. if, so until there's a board vote, put Mr. Meisner in as the road person, you're still the road person. Well, I look at it this way in one sense. It's, I don't think it's really required to have a, a I'm not saying that I think it's a good idea or a bad idea. I'm just saying I don't think that it's really required that the board vote to do it. When I was in as what We did. You volunteered to be the road person, right. and we voted right. on it, I, yep. and I voted no yeah. against you, yeah. and Mr. Eldridge voted for you. Yeah. No, so I, that was a board vote. Right, and whether or not that is something that is a statutory requirement of the selectmen, I wouldn't think so. It's a behavior of a particular board. And as I started, Mr. Edwards, when I started my comment, I said, I'm not saying whether or not I think it's a good idea or a bad idea. I am simply saying this is that we haven't voted on it to have that be the official duty of one particular selectman. So we don't have a road person? We have a person as, that's As in, of right now, we don't have a road person? No, right saying? now you have three. Anything else? Because, I mean, I, there's, there isn't another answer here, so, yes. Then I hope all three know what's going on when one person does something. Um, I think by the time any money gets spent on a particular road issue, um, that was authorized by a particular, I can't think of many situations where one person has authorized something other than something that had to be dealt with right away. We've always discussed where the money's going to get spent. Henry. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll allow you a follow-up, yes. Yes, thank you. Um, but there's been a lot said, as we all know. So I think uh, if you're a board, that those kind of things shouldn't be happening. Because it, it, it doesn't look good for right. our um, town. Okay, I will say it, the, the discussion that was had last week with uh, Mr. Battles, and he had one particular or two particular questions about what the difference between the job description and the actual contract were. Uh, as far as I know, that's been rectified. I haven't had a chance to talk with him, and I haven't had a chance to talk with the other two board members um, about the possible. There was one simple little word change that the office was going to make in the document. I don't know. I didn't see it coming in the action folder to review. But I am pretty sure that uh, after my discussion with the current contract holder, that the fix that we have in mind is going to alleviate his concerns over that particular contract. But. Um, Everything we do is fee for service with this job, um, and I honestly cannot right now think of any situation where, Lenny, you've authorized the spending of money that either didn't get brought up prior to authorization or like immediately the next meeting afterwards you would have come forward and said we, you know, there was a washout on the road and it had to get fixed. Yes, I'll, I'll go with jury. Okay, so you're saying, so under that premise, the three of you are incompetent to see how the roadside mowing went. Um, I, 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 mean, I, I, know, that, I, I, under I, that I appreciate premise. the fact that people are upset by the roadside mowing. Uh, I know John Meisner, Selectman Meisner went over the roads. I went over the roads individually. Lenny did, and Lenny and I did together. And it has been admitted at one of our meetings that we are not completely satisfied with the road mowing that was done. I am under the impression, and this is me speaking as a selectman, I am under the impression that we do not do roadside mowing for the sense of the beautification of the town of Effingham. We do roadside mowing so that we keep sight lines and keep the road safe for travel, and it has something to do with snow removal, right? I did not find any place that was involved within a seven-foot level cutting area that still restricted major portions of the road. There might be a corner here or there that it is true, but I really didn't see it. So in the sense of trying to achieve public safety, it was met. And is that the aesthetics of how close it was cut and how close it may have been cut in the past, I see a difference. That's 
not the issue. The issue was the contract said he's supposed to go back seven and, feet. And as I said at the last meeting, it's kind of a closed issue now. There, people can take disagree with what the selectman's decision was or whether or not they're going to follow what they're going to do about it in the end, but essentially we accepted the job as adequate to its purpose, but not particularly satisfactory to its completion. And that was pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. Is this another issue? This is the same issue. Okay. And you're saying that you, you know what Mr. Meisner is doing, right? Okay. Is this Did the... you know that Mr. Meisner tried to shut down the project on Stevens Road twice? Did you know that? Not, I wouldn't have put it in those terms, no. You wouldn't put it in them terms? No. Well, Mr. Meisner did. Mr. Meisner also threatened to sue me, sue Edwards Concrete and Excavation, as well as the engineer who was bending over backwards trying to do something for this town, trying to save this town money. Okay. Mr. Meisner threatened to sue me and Ackman Engineering. Okay. Did you know that? No, but the way I look at what's happened right now is, is that last week we accepted the engineer's report that the bridge is complete. Those processes and the behavior of anybody involved in the system by which the bridge was complete strike me as, as not irrelevant, but their past history because the selectmen accepted Ekman's report that the bridge is meets the standards that it needs to meet, uh, according to DOT, according to the plans that we had drawn and everything else. The selectmen have accepted that bridge. That's right. You accepted that last week. Yes. But did you know that Mr. Meisner threatened to sue Edwards Concrete and Excavation in the Ackman Engineering um, over I, I have, me putting okay, a uh, Jersey can, barrier in the water, which is how you put in a coffin dam. Okay. Um, it was now. No, wait I, a minute, hang on. Okay. Wait, hold on. All right, all right. Mr. Meisner yeah. called Mitchie Corporation and told Mitchie Corporation that that bridge job was a disaster. Did you know that? Uh, Did you know that Mr. My, the, your fellow selectman was doing that kind of stuff? No. So that's a reflection on you and Mr. Espy. Okay. If this goes to court, you're going to court to go to court. Mr. Espy is going to go to court also. Did you know that? Did I you realize not, that? I have heard nothing about the town being brought to court. No, you haven't heard nothing because it hasn't happened yet. That but why, Mr. Yes. Meisner is trashing me, and he's using the town to do it. Okay. He, he has a personal vendetta against me, and he's using the town to get to me. And that's a reflection on you and you. And if this goes to court, which I'm going to take it to court, if one more thing comes out of Mr. Meisner's mouth, Okay. I am done with Mr. Meisner trashing me. Okay. He started back in 06 trashing me. And he's continued, and now he's got in his selectman. He thinks he can do anything he wants. Well, I'm telling Mr. Meisner, he ain't doing it anymore. I am done with Mr. Meisner. Okay. And I am done with the town and allowing Mr. Meisner to use the town to for his own personal vendetta against me. Okay. Henry? Yes. I would like to ask Mr. Meisner what Steve Gard said. About what? About what you asked him, John. What did I ask him? You tell us. You called. You don't remember? I called him about a few times. It was the last time you called him, sir. The last time I called him. I don't remember. You don't remember. How convenient. Well, I'm telling you the How truth. How convenient. I guess yeah. we'll go to court and find out what you said. I'll tell the judge the same thing. Yeah, you don't remember. But you didn't have a problem remember when you taken this court before and spent over $50,000 you've cost this town. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do. And you do. All right, there is, uh, as I said, 
when, when you get into asking direct questions and stuff like that, an election official does have, uh, well, please, an election official does, it is open because they're an elected official. Essentially, the public can kind of say whatever they want. But I think the point has been made that members of the public uh, are, in, of our community are dissatisfied with the behavior of one selectman. Um, I think, Lenny, you're aware currently from this meeting that there's a, a high degree of upset in the in yeah, but people. I mean, to answer Lawrence's question, no, I did not know. Uh, it has never been discussed at a meeting that calls were made and that the right. threats were and no, uh, of no inkling whatsoever. Like that. Right, that, that's never been discussed at a meeting. May I approach the table, Mr. Chairman? Um, okay, yes. I want to would like to know if you had ever seen this letter. through the whole thing, I will say that the first page, I'm not aware of having read this letter. But. Mr. Espy, have you ever seen that letter? I stand by my original statement, but I will say I don't remember particularly that letter coming through in the communication. Can I ask one more question? Shouldn't have that letter have been in the folder? I'm, I'm going to go over to my office okay. representative, yes. Anything that has been sent from anywhere is placed in your mail folders. May I ask that from now on that you initial them so there is a note on there that you've looked at them. Whether you've read them All right. or seen them, can, can very I see that good letter? idea. But yeah. everything is yeah. put into that into the mail folder that comes through an email, no matter what it is. It doesn't have to just be F minutes. You see your mail folder. I have never seen that in the mail folder. Mm -hmm. Oh, the action folder, whatever would end it up. Um, I'd rather wait till this is... Well, I can answer this. The first one is, uh, I don't mind saying it, because when you first started construction, I asked, does anybody know that they started construction? Right. The office didn't know, and Ekman didn't know. That's the first paragraph. So it's nothing that I'm not saying anything bad. No one notified Ek Ekman didn't even know that they started. So no one notified the town that they started. Right. They just started. Yeah. That's the false statement, Mr. No, that's the truth. If I called Ekman, if you can call them all you want. But that's what I said. Yeah, well, John, you have a hand Okay, the second one. Sharing. No, I this was in the folder. I remember seeing this. Okay. I have a copy in okay. my book. All right. Thank you, John. Yeah. Okay, the second one. Ekman Engineering scheduled an on-site meeting between the contractor, Mitchie Corp, and American Crane. That is because when you start a project and Ekman agreed to it, Matt said, oh yeah, we have a pre-construction meeting with all the players involved so they know the layout of the road, how wide the road's got to be for the crane. We are already into construction. I remember that discussion. And we did not have one, and I asked for one. So everybody is on the same page because when that Michi brings that concrete yep. stuff, if the crane can't right. take it off, well, no, that, it's we, an extra charge. We had that discussion when we set up. And the there project. was no pre, so that's between right. 
And I, I have a right to ask these questions. John, we had a site watch. <laughs> I'm a select. I, I mean, I'm looking out for the town. Right, I understand. But we did have the site. We did discuss that information because that's what we established the site walk amongst all three. Correct. Parties, all yeah. three parties. Actually, it was four parties because it was the Crane people, Michi, uh, Engineering, us five parties, Heckman and uh, Edwards. The dewatering. You charged the plan right on there, what? John. Hold, hold on. Let me. You had your time. Now it's my time. Yeah. The Jersey Barriers. I got a phone call from someone, because I don't have caller ID at home, and said the Jersey Barriers are in there. And I made no bones about it. I don't know if cement barriers are supposed to be in the ground. Right. All I can tell you is a friend of mine owns a marina. And when he extended his boat ramp 10 feet in the water, it cost him $1,000 a foot. Right. I didn't want anyone coming in saying those cement barriers right. should not be in, or else it's a fine, and the fine I mean, could come on us. You're going out to look at it, John. It strikes me as a reasonable response to a, uh, That's, a, a citizen's concern. Okay. I think there was. Well, I don't doubt there was. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. The Conservation Committee. They came out on their own right. to look at it. Emmeline said, no, I want to come, come out and look. I said, okay, where's the number? Oh, there it is, Stevens Road replacement. Selectman Myers also concerned. I didn't want something to actually, if you really want to know the truth, I'm looking out for him. Because if he did something wrong, the conservation picked up on it, we'd be in trouble. Just, yeah. oh. All right. Well, I, that being said, I, I'm going to make I, one, one comment on this. Is, is that and, and here, and I wanted to shut the job down. Let me just finish just the last one. I said we should stop the job until everybody is on the same page. And that is the driver that set up the meeting with everybody on site. Correct. Okay. That's why I said maybe the best thing to do is stop the construction because Ekman didn't know it started. The town didn't know it started. Yeah. No one knew it started until he drove down the road. Right. Janet Bonowitz, who was the post the, the, the post one, told us. She right. told us that she didn't have any. She didn't know anything about the road being closed. Right. That's why I said we should stop and get all our ducks in a row. Yeah. If that's being negligent, well, you know what? So be it. You yeah, want this I, back? I do think. I do think overall, having lived through that particular process, is the, the steps that the selectmen took in this particular process and the concerns brought forward by the public were absolutely justified and everything was pretty cool. When you got into the second and third page of the document, John, I do remember reading it because that's the part I was really paying attention to. It's there. It's not, I'm not hiding right. anything. No, I, and I don't <laughs> think you are. Um, I, I, I can only speak as, in a sense as my behavior as a selectman. This is that I, I would never badmouth anybody in town. I may, I may have opinions, but I keep them to myself. I would hope that other selectmen are able to do the same yeah. thing. As far as the actual activity of the selectmen officially, I don't have a problem with anything that happened. Um, if some of the accusations that have been made against Selectman Meisner um, are true, I hope he stops doing whatever it is that causes those reactions. And if he didn't do them, um, keep yeah. not doing them. That's all I can say. Henry? Yeah. Do you know that one selectman has no authority whatsoever. It has to be a board vote in order for something to take effect. Right. One selectman has no authority whatsoever. Um, Is that right? Yeah, uh, yes, unless there's extenuating so circumstances. Mr. Meister told Eckman has, doesn't have any meaning, don't hold any water whatsoever. Um, there are times when, as a selectman, when I have made it a unilateral reaction because you're in a situation and you get worried about it and you try to do what you can to protect the people in the town. Uh, Any time that I've done that, I've usually tried to immediately send an email that I have done so to the office and stuff like that. But uh, um, I, I, I don't know what we can do to rectify the situation. At, as a, at the municipal level, I am happy. Here's what I know, is we finally have the project done. It took five years. I can tell you exactly what you can do. But. You can ask Mr. Meisner to resign because he is going out and using his position as a selectman to do his 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 own bandera against P 
people that he doesn't like. Okay. And that is not right. He should have the interests of the town at his house. Right. Right. If he doesn't, he doesn't care about this town. Right. All he cares about is what he thinks. Yeah, I will look at this as an as this is, meeting is going to be reflected in the minutes that have been, um, I'm just going to call it a degree of, of discontent was expressed about the behavior of one selectman. If the select, Mr. Selectman Miser, it's not no secret, if Selectman Miser feels like he may have done things that inflamed the situation, I simply hope that he stops. That's all I can ask. Henry, may I speak? Um, is this a... Very short and sweet. Okay, please. Do you think that any Selectman should go around saying, I'm going to sue this one. I'm going to sue that one. Is that the responsible <clears throat> behavior? And Mr. Meisner still doesn't remember what he said to Mr. Steve Gard. Okay, but that, I, I, I don't mean it. Your discontent with a particular selectman has been brought forward and as well said for the record as I can imagine it can be. There's nothing else that can be done now other than the hope that it's Should he be able to do the suing business again when it concerns another project? Well, uh, but, if he I'm has sorry. something against that person. I, I don't understand what you mean by suing business. Because he threatened to sue us. Um, I, I, if he had a problem with something during this project, he should have become before the board. It should have been a, a decision. He, People, you should, all should have gone and looked at it. He did. He did come before the board. The the document that you put forward is pretty much a, a, a good indication of everything that Selectman Meisner brought forward. Um, if he did contact uh, people beforehand to gather he information, did. I look at that as preparation to come to the board. I can. Excuse yeah. me. Saying that you're going to sue. Is, uh, is, that is was ne that was never part behavior? of the official record. Uh, that, uh, that was never brought up at a meeting. The word "suing" anybody has never been brought up at a, at a public meeting on, on the Stevens Road project. Um, what got said in public by a selectman that got back to other people, I, 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 the selectman, there's nothing I can say about it anymore. I've said what I can say about that. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, I mean. Does this move this further, or is this... No, I just want to say that one of the reasons the town voted to hire an engineer was, correct. was to take, not completely take the selectmen out of it, right, but to have the engineering firm take the responsibility, because usually you would assume that yeah. the engineering yeah. firm right. that and you I, I hire... Agree. I agree with that 100%. So as a selectman, when I get a phone call saying is that the project started and when one of the selectmen gets in touch with the engineer in charge and I hear back, or what we hear back, that they, that they don't even know that the project started, there's where we got upset. And that's what led to all those questions there. So I can see how it happened. But personal remarks that may or may not have been said, I'm not <clears throat> confirming or denying them. They're personal remarks that were done outside of a meeting. Um, the way you want to react to that is the way you can, but that's it. Moving on to something Something new? new? Okay. Yeah. Well, similar. If you uh, yeah. Still ish. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think the board should take a vote on having a road person, not exclusively, but the go to person. I mean, I agree. obviously, it's still a board decision, but there should be one person that the contractor. All right, I, I'm taking your point. What should, I'm going to do, because uh, until we actually sort of put down on paper by appointing this person for this position, these are the responsibilities and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't want to just make a vote and make myself, Lenny, or John be the road guy at this point because I see the problems involved in it. So I'm putting it down in one of our fairly soon work sessions. We will hash out that whoever holds that position, these are the assumed responsibilities of yeah. that position. But just to reiterate what he said, I don't really have a problem with that yeah. because it's a go-to person. This is one of the reasons why I wanted the road contractor to give us a week ahead of time so we can look at it. Right. And say, you know what? Maybe we don't really need to do this. This is more important. Yeah. But that has happened. Well, and that that that's yeah. the kind of stuff we'll work out. I don't have to. That's, okay. that's right. good. So we'll.
good idea. We'll move it along. Is this a brand new topic? Because I'm not really interested in pursuing the one we've been on. This is just on how the board interacts with the contract. As I said, we don't even have a plan yet. Let us get a plan, and then we'll let it. It'll be a public document, and then you can comment on it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yes. Has the window stand been put up? Who what? As the winter sand. I saw a truck going in the other day. I'm not sure if you were bringing in sand or salt. I haven't. No. Um, well, what's the cost of it? Um, generally speaking, when we get sand and salt, we're, uh, the salt we get at a state rate, um, and that's always been the lowest in the sand we get. I'm not exactly positive what it is, but we have a budget for it, and then one of the responsibilities of the person holding the contract is to make sure is that uh, they stay within the budget and have sufficient sand to do that the job. I asked. I asked what the cost was. I'm not positive at this point, Miss. Well, I would think you'd have a very good idea. I know how much. I at this, I don't even know exactly what the amount of money budgeted for it was, but it can be looked up, and we have not gone over that budget. Yeah. I still want to know what um, the amount. Yes. Is. Uh, I'm. It's just, it, are these different, new topics? I'm. I'm segueing away. Okay. Okay. Um, Mike and Helen. Henry, uh, last week at the meeting there was some discussion about a culvert, fee culvert on Wally Filbert Road that's been uh, okay. authorized money through town vote to yep. repair. Now, um, I have uh, gone to many a training this year that has touched on culverts, DES's concerns, DOT's concerns, um, there's things with the capital improvement plan, with the planning board. Culverts is a general topic for the community, and we've been looking at that. So, um, so far, uh, OEP did a thing uh, this year with DES lectured on some of this. I just went to a law lecture series this Saturday where we had a couple people in there, and they were addressing culverts, water courses, this whole thing. So, I could go through the list, but I attended seven training seminars this year. As well as I've reached out to uh, Dr. Kamal Nath, who's a resident of the town. Mm -hmm. He's on the Conservation Commission. He was instrumental in UNH coming in and a lot of other people with an alphabet soup behind their name, and they did a culvert study. 54 culverts that are part of the water courses in the community are in that 24 page study. Mm -hmm. 15 of them rated as good, all the others did not. Now, culvert number 144 is the Molly Fulbert culvert. Okay. That did not rate as good. It is a perched culvert, which mm -hmm. means it has a high drop, and it doesn't have any natural wildlife conductivity. There's no car to the pass-through. DES, DOT, they're all big on this. Part of the Lakes Region Planning culvert studies that are available, there's three levels. The highest level has this in it. It's what our study was in 2008. The whole focus is... Uh, all this year, it's all you hear. That culvert at Molly Philbrook should not be simply replaced as is. I think that's what was being discussed. I know the uh, Acton Watershed Alliance uh, did a, a study over there where we have a um, watershed plan as well as the Province Lake Association. There was actually 50% grant money available. I just saw Sally Sewell, who's involved in that from DES. So your, your general opinion is, is that we should not simply replace that culvert. Yes. We should spend significant money to make it uh, accessible to animals. I don't think it is significant money. What I was looking at was the culvert is actually too high to the surface of the road, in my opinion, from the training that I took. Right. What I was looking at is there's a little hook just before it goes to the road. It looks like it pulls up and it'll cause problems. You can exceed going back by 10 feet and going forward on the other side 10 feet and position the culvert. You can go, it was once said two sizes up. It's not actually true. It's 50% bigger. You got a, basically a 20 inch culvert. It looks like you could go to a 30 inch. You could make it elliptical. If you went further back, you can also put it down and subgrade a little. You'll get further down under. It won't increase velocity because the area which covers the water will be more drag or friction, so it doesn't speed up. And it'll allow you to not tip it so much because it's long. So you can have a long, gradual feed and come out to the other side to the riverbed perch. I'm just saying, please look at that because so many people are looking at that and so many people have been doing work in that area for the town and it's a focal point of many projects and people and boards and commissions in the community. Okay. Uh, so please give it some consideration and just dig a hole, throw it in. All right. Thank you. So just for the selectmen, um, 
when the next time we talk about Molly Colbert Road, it was brought up by a member of the public that we should put a lot more consideration into the environmental impacts of the installation mm -hmm. of that. Okay? All right. Yes? Yeah, it's okay. also All right. two pages of the master plan. Right. Natural yeah. resources. We'll find some more. Okay. Anything else? I'm still waiting for my answer. To what? To what amount of money for the sand. Uh, what we budget for, um, we'll get you the amount of money that we budgeted for the sand. She's getting it right now. Anything else? Henry? Yes. Um, any idea how much this call was going to cost on my filter code? Um, before I did, yes. You don't know? Um, if we go into a deeper planning, but that has not been decided to happen by the selectmen. And last week, I know we caught the, someone had talked about this road is only open part of the year. Right. Do we want to put this much money, or if it's a, a big amount, I hope the selectmen will consider the amount of money they're going to spend on it, uh, or it's only open part of the year? I can speak for myself when it comes to that. I have, uh, I'm a very strong environmentalist. Uh, I'm not quite as strong an environmentalist as I sit on this side of the table because I have a fiduciary responsibility to people in town that actually budget food so they can pay their taxes. Right. I take always take that into consideration, and believe me, on this side of the table, it influences me tremendously. That's all I can tell you. Can I just say something? Please, Lenny. Um, Thursday, when I was at Philbrook Road with Bob, um, we looked at it, and that culvert's only 15 feet, so you know, by 20 feet of culvert, so it's going to be extended five feet. But he thought they could do that job for around 1500 bucks, right? That sounds reasonable, yeah. yeah. Okay, anything else? Yes, Mr. Edwards. Well, you don't want to talk about this anymore, Henry, but I need to bring this up. Mr. Miner is trashing the people that are trying to do something for this town, okay which is the, the vendors, right? These vendors aren't going to want to work for this town if this keeps up. Okay. And you're the chairman of the board, and this needs to stop. Now... Okay, I will say this. In my past, uh, as board chairman on many boards for 25 years, five years as a selectman, I have learned one thing. When you have uh, a member of your board has a certain behavior, you... You have as much chance of changing that behavior as you're changing anybody's behavior in life. Uh, it's an extraordinarily difficult thing to do. It's pretty much impossible as far as I've been able to tell. I have a feeling that if Mr. Meisner does feel at all culpable of having said certain things in public that have upset people, that he, he's smart enough to know that he needs to stop doing it. I don't know if he said them or not. I really, it's not important to me. The fact that people in town think that, they think that he does and they're willing to say it in public is moderately important to me. But it's his behavior that he needs to change. And Mr. Meiser knows very well the responsibilities of being a chair, uh, a selectman, and I'm assuming that he's going to live up to them. I just, I, I'm not, I don't think this is unimportant, Lawrence, but there's nothing else I can say about this. If you have a concern with a relationship with an elected official in town, you've made it public, um, you've said your piece, people are aware of it, and hopefully whatever caused that reaction in you won't happen again. That's all I can say. Okay. And, uh, Jayma, I will find out. I'm going to take a one-minute break, and then we're done with public comment. There's, yes? Okay. There's just a little under 13,000 left of materials to sand. And as per ton, per load, I don't know what it's... I haven't... We didn't see any bills. So. I want to know what the final figure on this stockpiling the sand is. Well, so far we've I spent... I assume sand and salt would both be combined together. Yeah, materials. Yeah, and that's how much? Yeah, uh, there's 17,000. Wow, wait a minute. Yeah, 17,000. The only question is, did that go out for bids? Um, and if it didn't, why didn't it? Anything over $15,000 that absolutely has to go out for bids. Instead, it just gives the to Evans. You know. You know, well, I can't. I don't know. If, I can't say for sure if the sand came from Evans or Aggregates. I'm not. I'd like to think it came from Evans, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right, water. The uh, the uh, budget for materials for winter roads is sixty thousand dollars. That's sand and salt. Yeah. Uh, combination. Okay. All right. Okay. Why did it go up for bids? 
Um, we've been over that. Um, I can go over the whole argument again if you really want me to. But we don't have to go out to bids on that. Yes, it does. No, Anything we don't. No, we don't. Miss Miss must go Ms. out for bids. Miss Thompson, you need to read the document very carefully. No, there is a there is a portion of that document that says that if the selectmen have been working with reputable firms for a length of time, it, it can continue to work with them. That's how you build relationships based upon a working relationship between a municipal government and, and private enterprise. In other words, you gave it to Evans, and that's it. That's what it's going to be. No, no, no that's not I, true I at all. Evans was a contract negotiation. All right. Uh, anything else? One, one thing. Hopefully, this is positive. I'm sure people, some people may not think so, but I know that this town was in a lot of financial trouble through the mid. Uh, late 90s going into 2000. I know John Miser came on the board then and he served four terms as his life and he took a hiatus and is now back. I'm thrilled to have John back. He's fiscally responsible. He served this town well for a lot of years. He dug us out of a financial hole. And if he's keeping an eye on yeah. people, I think it's a great idea because we've had a lot of okay. things not be the best in Thank the you. last few years. So All right. I'm glad to see John here. All right. That's the end of public comments. Of what? Uh, uh, hey, 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 if you want to have a conversation between yourselves, you can go outside and do it, or you can do it through the desk. But, you know, this conversation, I, it, all it can do is go on longer and nothing more will be accomplished. A tremendous amount has been accomplished by your expression of concern. Okay, it has. So I'm going to close public comment. So we already, we already had a zoning enforcement, uh, met, met with the zoning enforcement officer during our work session, and uh, pretty much she had... Um, yeah, very little to report. Things are going on pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, she's rationalizing work patterns and stuff like that. Uh, we did go over the police budget and the transfer station budget. We were going to have a meeting with the budget committee on those two issues tonight, but we're not going to. Uh, uh, the uh, We did say last week, I can get this out of here now, that we were going to have them go ahead and start doing the grading prior to freeze up of the mm -hmm. roads, right? Um, uh, ambulance concerns uh, again. Has that started? Uh huh. Has that grading started? Yeah. Or not? No, probably Monday. Monday. Yeah. Okay. He's down the man, so he's got to redo his schedule so he can fit it in. So okay. Said so probably the first of the week to get started. All right. Um, there are communications. I will be getting in touch with our. Uh, Fire and rescue chief uh, on, on the issue of the ambulances. Uh, Excuse me? The fire chief's right here. Okay. Oh, well, he just said, he heard. Uh, I, I'm just saying, I will, be get, I will be getting in touch okay. with him on those issues. Right, yes. Um, dry hydrant. Uh, we did get something in the action uh, folder. I think it was the action folder where the dry hydrant that was placed at the Stevens Road Bridge um, is. I don't, um, Randy, as fire chief, have you seen it? Yes, we went on Saturday to uh, test it. Yeah. And it's sitting in the silt. Okay. It needs to be raised up. All right, now, um, is there depth in normal flow of water raising up? It would still be a function of dry hydrant? I mean, I'm, I'm, my question is, is it as is deep as it is? Is it, is it as deep as it is because in low water it needs to be that deep? It could come up a little. Okay. Um, but the what can come up a little? The strainer. It's like at an angle, and this bottom section is where the silt is going in. That's right. All right. So I do have a question on that. Um, what is is that a rigid attachment from the strainer into the intake pipe? Is it rigid or is it flexible? No, I think it's rigid. It's rigid. It's rigid. It's um, if if is it on any kind of joint that can be moved? Okay. Not, wasn't on the plan like that. Okay, I, I understand. Um, uh, I, I'm just thinking that the easiest thing to do would be to get, get at least one selectman well, and the fire chief and. There's something before yeah. you go. In, yeah. Before we go, let's explain why he's saying if it could be raised a little bit. Right. Okay. Well, either raise it or dig around the side. Say it again. Either raise it or dig. Around the side of it. Okay, now uh, it struck me when I read it that digging it would be a nice solution, except it fills back up again. So, mm. you're not allowed to dig in the river. <laughs> I guess the plan to dig in the river. Ridge. I guess the problem is that what they didn't tell you. Is the it. problem is that they suck in. Uh, they suck. It took a thousand gallons of water 
to clear the pipe. So what they were saying is that if they hooked that up, if there was a, a fire on Stevens Roads, yeah. God forbid, and that thing wasn't flushed out, it would have burnt the pumps out. That's what they're saying. And they're trying to rectify if you could raise it up a little so it's not directly sitting on... If you raise it up, any, it's going to be out of water before the 1,000 gallons goes through it. Yeah. I, all these so you're not going to win either way. Yeah. yeah. All he's trying the to do is... you're going to win is if they put it on the correct side to begin with. But when the plan was approved, nobody really went out and looked at that. So you're saying Ekman didn't look at it? No, I'm not saying that Ekman didn't look at it. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm just saying that well, I, that's not a deep portion of the river. Okay, uh, overall, uh, I mean, I, it's not that I don't yeah. care, but in some levels I don't care why it happened or how it happened. What I'm concerned with is, is there any way that we can make that operative? Uh, and what's the one way? Okay, that, so if you lower it, you're in the silt. If you raise it, you're going to be out of water. Out of water. And you're that going to be sucking air. That was my initial question. Right? Yeah. Is, is That's there your two enough, answers. There's depth in the river. Okay, so um, the fix on this. If it so, comes in the springtime and there's a fire, you're going to be good for a little bit. Right. Yeah. If it's in late August, September, you're out of, you're yeah. out of luck. And I figured that any dry hydrant that you put in a, in a stream that has a flow of anywhere from 18 to 24 inches once in a while to 7 to 3 inches some of the time, that you're going to have times when it is non-functioning. So, Randy, your point being is the primary problem is the position of it is whether you have a lot of water or a little water that it tends to collect silt. The actual intake of the pump, uh, or the pipe itself actually collects silt. Correct. Okay. So, I'm not sure what the solution to that problem is right now, but I don't want to make a decision on how to deal with it tonight, but um, Randy, do you have any concepts other than just digging a hole underneath it? I mean, we could probably get permission can. to do that, but is I don't it, think you can. I don't think you can dig down in the riverbed. Because of bedrock? Yeah. No, it's because you... You can't, I don't think you can. DOT. I don't think DOT is allowed. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that there's a possibility for, for the purposes of dry hydrant, there might be a little leeway, so we could try to find out. You know, that. Would, you, would you want me to call Edwin and ask him if there's a solution? Yes. Why don't you do that, John? We'll take a vote. Yeah. No, we don't need to. John, John. <laughs> you don't need to take a vote. John, please no, give don't. him a call. John, no, no. John no. please give him a call. Yeah. All right, That's so what you said. We'll, we'll see what we can do about it. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's a shallow water source. Is this, on this, it's, I'm really not in public comment, and we kind of have a solution for this problem right You're now. You're asking a question, and I want to give the answer. Okay, the answer is? If we put a 22 and a half degree on the bottom of that pipe, and, and come up and put another 22 degree, we're going to be out of the water. That's but that's that's good said. Now that at the six inch pipe we have twelve inches of water. Two times six is twelve inches. Right, we've discussed that. Right. Okay. We have done the best we could no, with, what, with right. the amount of water that we had. Right. Yeah. I the solution so far seems to be because of the shallowness of the waters, we need to try to get permission to dig something underneath that so that it has a reservoir of water that well, occasionally might have to get cleaned out, but at least it does provide yeah. a degree of safety for people in the community because there's a water source for the fire department. So we need to check, or we'll check with Ekman, see if they can come up with DES, uh, Department of Environmental Services, has rules on this. i got to assume that someplace there's some leeway in there for public safety. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. I don't know. All right. That's done. Can I ask another question, Henry? Uh, not on this issue, because it's decided what we're doing about it. I'm just saying, when Bacon done the original dry hydrant, yeah. It was in 2015. We yeah. had a lot more water right. than we do now. Yeah. Yes. So back then, it might have worked. Right. And it might work next year. That's true. Yeah. There you but go. Right now, yeah. we've done the best we could yeah. with the amount of water yeah. we had. Yeah. I'm not looking at this anywhere where I see anything fault in this. This is no, other than Mother Nature and the glaciers didn't dig the river deep enough. Consistent. You know, that's not my problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Cool. All right, so uh, if, if, just so we're all aware of it, new folder proposed work sessions, and one of the things is it's the yellow one, and, and at the, sort of someplace I'm going to put in the agenda or at this point is we just review it and go through it and see what mm -hmm. everybody's aware of, but I do tend to keep a list in the agenda. Um, we need uh, any word back from um, on yes. high branches? Yeah, yeah I, I talked to him that. Yeah. He said that he's willing to do it. He says he doesn't know what additional labor it would take. He said a hundred bucks an hour is what he gets for that rig. Right. And he'll 
do 20 hours and see how... Okay. And he's not... But I told him, I said, you got... And here's where everybody yep. is different. I said, do the ones that are overhanging as you're going around. Right. Do the ones that are really overhanging. Right. This is the gray area because people might say, this branch leans over too right. far and how come he missed that? Right. He doesn't really know. He's just given up a... You know... Right. Uh, he said so maybe in one way, it's the same way we established the amount of money we spent on. He wants to do 20 ceiling. hours. Crack, crack ceiling, right? The yeah. same thing we did. We budgeted X amount of money. 20, 20 hours, that's two grand more. Okay. And that's what he said. It maybe be less. Right. I, he doesn't know. Right. He, okay. It's something that right. he has to have a, a feel yeah, for. That is exactly the problem we had with the road crack ceiling. And the way we solved yeah. that was we came up with a reasonable estimate of what's worthwhile for a company to go out and do it. And yeah. we raised that much money. And we're finding out now that it's pretty close to enough. Well, he said he's willing to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, and, uh, so that would mean that we'd have to raise that right. line when we come up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, is there, do either of you think this isn't an issue? Because I've been very sensitive to looking at this as I'm driving around, and it's a problem. And it's not going to no, like get better. Yeah, they yeah. just keep getting bigger every year. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but the branches just didn't occur. They've been there. Right. Well, they get bigger. They just every haven't year. been addressed. They get bigger every year. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. That's absolutely. Enough. <laughs> unfortunate. Um, as far as I know, the snow road thing, we're still waiting on the final sort of thing from DES, but um, we did get stuff on that, and we have enough numbers on it to start looking at the budgetary cycle on bridge mm -hmm. work. Um, Molly Frillbrook is scheduled. We did get public input on concerns about what is possible to be done there. Um, I'm trying to think. Do we need to put another step in there now after that particular input from the public? Not hearing anything. Yeah. Um, we'll let it proceed. Yeah. Uh, screen for Beaver could go apart. That's all. That's still sort of ongoing, but there's not much to say about it right now. Um, on Wednesday, I will be calling uh, Nature Conservancy again to see mm -hmm. if they'll take care of the beavers themselves. <clears throat> And the erosion problems in Colquitt Hills, so everybody's aware of it. We did get a, a, a sign-off from the property owner who's going to allow us to put water onto their property, but we are going to ensure that the area that we're going to discharge stuff from the road is staked out prior to any work being done and meets the agreement of the property owner. Lenny's been handling that pretty well, and uh, he'll continue to do that. Still working on the concrete pad. Uh, so every time it notices in this, I may have forgotten to take out concrete work, but we've essentially decided to do the two concrete pads at the fire station and the new possibility of the new concrete pad at the transfer station as one job if we can do it next year because we have been advised by members of the public um, that that could be a less expensive way to do it. All right, so that's under uh, budget issues when we're talking about the budget stuff. It's that would be part of the cost of the transfer station. Um, we do need to, uh, by next week, uh, I'm going to say at the work session, we really need to nail down what we're going to ask for for mm -hmm. Green Mountain Road because the budget committee yeah, would like it. Off. Yeah, they'd yeah. like it a week before. Okay. And on the road. So do, do we have that measuring wheel? There, uh, there yes, was, we do. It's off the shed. shed. Yeah, the last time I saw it. Yeah. Um, the budget committee was asking for stuff a little early, a week ahead of time, which would mean that we need to pretty much get them, the, the first thing is roads and bridges, and we need to get the, our proposed budget to them, on, so we need to have it done on our work session on the 24th, and yeah. then we can disseminate it out, and the week after that, um, just your basic road budget. So that's what, and then coming up would be ours, the uh, stuff, all that kind of stuff. But the first one is roads and bridges and paving. All right. Um, um, we have discussed uh, increasing a little money for road maintenance. Um, we have also had a discussion at the last work session of the possibility of using some of the SB38 money to do culvert work. Um, the other thing we looked at is the possibility of using it to defray the cost of other road projects. Um, we've been putting off some of this culvert work for a, some of the simple cleaning and maintenance of culverts for years. Um, sort of my thing would be to use this gift from the state to do that. I know it was our money to begin with, but 
um, is to do we, just general culvert work in town. Yeah, we can. So that'll make. I think we all three of us. That'll stay that. part of the budget discussion when we get in front of the planning board. Okay. Um, anything else you want to bring up, Lenny? No? Okay. John? Yeah, the only thing I want to bring up is that I've been try I'm trying to find out, Dave Strauss brought it up last week, yep. about the uh, the contract for the for the summer roads, yep. how we don't have a contract signed. Yep. And with, and just to bring it back to okay. step back, is that we the reason why it's been out so long and we haven't gotten it done is went to Matt yep. to make sure Matt looked at it. Yep. The only thing that I can't find, and I've been looking, because I want to compare... The two, the two. What's the big discrepancy with the contract when he, when he first came on two years ago right. or three years ago, whatever? I can't find that contract. Well, I, I don't one believe of the, he ever had one. Yeah. So he, we, but, the town never had a contract. No. But John, one of the things that was in the original of job or, or the description for the RFP, yeah. whatever you want to call it, there was a X amount of money. Uh, of, of essentially, how much was he going to charge us to drive around town on the Valley Way to roads? Some of the stuff that we had about, if he did that, he needed to come to the select, or whoever holds the contract, yeah. needs to come to the selectmen and tell them what they've looked at along in the roads. Well, we got hue and cry over paying money to have the guy go out and think and come back to us. Well, that's that. not my question. Right. Okay. My, my question is, I get, I get that, okay. and I agree with that. Right. My question is that we always had a contract, not a, a bid spec. A bid spec is... All, is you as selectmen right. are agreeing to the price that they're going to right. charge per hour. Right. It's just like when they did the bridge. Yep. They put a spec sheet up. Yep. You know, they put the price of an elbow yep. and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And that's there. The contract yep. is the meat of right. the spec sheet. Right. But I can't find the contract that was signed by you all, oh, by okay. you three. Yeah. Yeah. I have a signed contract. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you do. But wait a minute. Mr. Finish. Edwards, would you mind getting a copy? Not at all. Okay, but thank you very much. The problem is the town doesn't have it. Well, I just <laughs> yeah. at this point, let's try to get a copy. Yeah, you have a exactly. Copy, yeah. You have a Can you yeah. drop it off? Oh, be perfect. That's yeah. all. Thank That's you, all I'm Mr. asking. Um, and as I was doing it, is, is that when we took up part of the stuff in the actual contract, yeah. the terminology was predicated upon the fact is that the guy was getting paid to gather information. Correct. And so those places in the contract is, did I indicate no that he that. would be providing us yeah. with information are now not based upon paying him to gather that information. Yeah, so that's, I don't have a that's problem. where the problem came in. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? It seems so clear to me, John, but then we've been thinking about this for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Anything else, John? No, okay. I'm, I'm good. good. No, okay. I'm good. We are going to do a work session afterwards. Uh, we're going to uh, probably go over some budgetary stuff. And what was that other thing I said we were going to talk about? I'll find it eventually. Oh, we were going to go over uh, sort of the how to deal with money and yep. tracking receipts and stuff mm -hmm. like that at the transfer station. Mm -hmm. That might take most of our time to, um, to do that. I, I, don't know. I think it's pretty... Yeah, pretty good. John, you've written you've written sentences with committees, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time. <laughs> they teach you that in the military. All right. So um, I'm not. It, we're not recessing or anything else. Well, actually, we do. I'll take a five ten minute recess, sure. and then we'll come back and do the work session. Um, I am. I'm going to open up the public comment. You're right. Uh, one more time. Yeah. Uh, did you have something particular? Yes. Um, a resident, or actually, the Governor Wentworth Regional School District reported just before we came into the meeting that there is a branch that is encroaching on Townhouse Road on the hill. They can't, they couldn't confirm, they left a message on the road line, so I've reached out to Josh and Bob, but I haven't. Their concern is if, like, the late bus runs into it. I already took care of it. Thank you. Oh, no, hey, Lynn. You, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it was just paying you home. Yeah. Okay, they weren't sure if it was gonna cost. Okay. Excellent, it's all set. Thank you very Good. much. Good, all right. Public comment, yes. Wrapping it up. Was the payment for the Stevens Road Bridge in the folder tonight? I didn't see it. We're waiting no. for paperwork from Ekman Engineering. Okay. What paperwork, what? Cheryl? There's, um, it, they're supposed to sign off on something. That's what they told me when I spoke with them last Thursday. Yeah. Well, I got a call. I called Ekman today. He said he sent it to the office. Before I came to this meeting, there was nothing on the email because I intentionally checked it because they're 
forever sending at five minutes after five when I ask them to send things to me. Uh, so uh, I can go. I, I mean, I can go there afternoon. now. He said he's still waiting for Dave to sign it. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. trying to get it to you today. I talked to Kurt. He said that they got that signed, and he had sent it to the town. There you go. Um. <laughs> there you go. Miscommunication. Uh, I hope that. I don't and, think it was a miscommunication. No. I don't think Kurt was playing no. job. No, no, that's that's Mr. Ed, Mr. Ed, all I can say is, is that you're, you should be aware now that the office is actually looking for that I've, document. I've been waiting you know, they, for it. They've been waiting for it and have been we looking for it. Expecting it. Expecting it. And you've expecting actually, you've actually tomorrow requested tomorrow. it and you've actually yes, requested it. And we're okay. so we're doing what we can. Okay. Let me ask another question. If, if the Department of Public Safety and Public Works and the Sheriff's you said last week we had to hold off a week. Well, this is a contract. I'm not a weekly um, vendor, let, let and me, I'm not a weekly I, employee. I think she's willing to answer. What you had said was right. that once we received the signed paperwork, because that's what we were informed at right. the meeting, that it would be seven days from there. Now, if I go to the computer now, and there's something on there while I've been here and not checking it, and you gentlemen would like to review it, a check would be cut on Tuesday. Okay, well, Tuesday. let me uh, let me ask my other question. That's up to this you question. as a board. Um, we have the the uh, engineering for it signed off in the bridge. We accepted it as done. Is there any reason that when Ekman sends the, that when the office has all the paperwork necessary to cut the check, is that they shouldn't cut it when they have all the paperwork, or do you want to have it wait a week? Uh, We've already accepted the job. Is done. They, we've been told the job is done correctly. Everything's been down. done already for the treasurer. Right. Yeah. So the treasurer comes in next week, so it's got to be cut okay. Tuesday. So yeah. Next Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. There you go. My yeah. question that's and you would have, if it had come in yesterday, you would have been. It would have been in there because been I've been looking right. for it. So the point is, what she's Washington saying is, is that if, if it had come in yesterday or Friday, it would have been in this, this one, but now it won't be. So we can we can probably do this next Tuesday for sure with that. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, great, as long yeah. as they send the work that is the paperwork required. Well, right. my question to you is: Are you saying that if it comes in, like if you're here the next day and you have to sign it, or you're here Wednesday and you can sign it, so that it can get to the folder to pay it Tuesday? Because someone's going to have to sign off on it. Um, as, as much so as, it, as, much as it is in my nature, as much as it is in my nature to say let's do everything we can to get the check out as fast exactly. as possible, I'm going to fall back on the fact this is that we have a certain procedure. Mm -hmm. The way I look at this is if it had come in last Friday or Monday, it would have been done this one. Correct. Unfortunately, if it comes in tomorrow, it won't get done until the so next Tuesday. Tuesday. So it would be okay. next Tuesday, okay. provided all the paperwork is in place. Mm -hmm. Got it? What I'm saying is. I called Kurt Byron, Ekman Engineering. He said he sent he has sent an email to the town today. Okay, uh, I can only stipulate this: is that if my if the office staff says they haven't received it, I don't think we've received it. Does that uh, this should have nothing to do with this issue because it no. has nothing to do with you? Okay, yes, public comment. No, but what this has to do is with a project that took a very long time and ultimately at the end, it's not exactly what we envisioned. So uh, I'm going to take a little knowing. umbrage with that. Well, people can safely drive across Stevens Road. I, I know this has Brook. nothing to do with the installers or anything like that. This is where I think it went wrong. I, I I'm going to stop you right there. I, I, it isn't that I don't care to think go right or wrong, but we've accepted the job. Any no, further not, information you give me is irrelevant at this well, point because there's no way that I'm going to take away, or I think the other selectmen are going to take away the right for people to use that bridge. It ain't happening. Well, so I'm not I, suggesting I, that, Henry. I'm trying to point out where I think it went. Wrong. I, I don't. File I, I, and I understand that. And as far as public comment goes, um, you've made your point that you think that there are inconsistencies in the way this is done. But try to get this through your head. The project is over. 
I know it's the over. The project is over. But you've got a plan the in there that shows is, where you went wrong. I know. That's you, fine, but that's fine by me. That's fine by me. The project is over. We have accepted the bridge don't as acceptable. Don't you want to learn from your mistakes? You I, just I'm perfectly to happy to learn from my mistakes, but I don't need to take the time of everybody in this room to do it. If you want to talk to me about what I did wrong, fine. Come up and talk to me about what I did wrong. It doesn't need to be done here. If this Very was well. an argument that could have come in before we accepted the, the report from the engineer, no. but we have. No, it wouldn't have changed anything. All right. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be short, right? But it's a five-year project. I got cars going on safely across that bridge. It meets every design engineering standard that our, our, our uh, hired engineer said is required. I'm happy with the bridge. I'm sorry that the... Uh, the uh, uh, the hydrant uh, isn't functioning, but that's a function of Mother Nature. That's not a function of not following a plan or anything else. And we will do what we can to rectify that problem because it speaks to public safety. But I'm, I'm done with Stevens Road Bridge. If you guys want to talk about it, you can entertain questions on it. But I, I'm not anymore. I'm done. You're, you're done with it? I'm just okay. ready to get the check out. Okay. So, as I said, we were going to... Anything else back. with public comment? <laughs> yes, Mr. Lindbergh. I'll be done with it. <laughs> of course. Do you like to put a non-public for the ambulance concerns? Okay, um, why don't we take a five minute recess and the reason we'll be going into non-public because it relates, I'll go get the 91A sheet that, and we're getting one and I'll yeah. go through the proper procedure before I ask the camera. I'm going, that's why I'm going. Uh, got it. Unless that meeting takes an extensive period of time with the fire chief, uh, we will be doing a little work session afterwards. But five hopefully, minutes. Five minutes, hopefully it'll be right exactly. relatively brief and then we will come out in non-public and go into a work session. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to take a five minute recess. It's good to have a skill. You've got yours, I got mine. Absolutely. Have a great night. I understand what you're saying, but that's my position that I don't give you. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, if you want to take a few minutes break. Oh, I'm sorry. Feel yes. free. Yeah. Okay. Um, you this, the, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that now. It's, uh, today is October yeah. 17, 2017. Members present, Henry Spencer, Lenny Espy, and John Meisner. And Henry Spencer makes a motion to go into a non-public session. No, second. Seconded by Lenny Espy. Specific reason. Uh, I'm looking for the contract one. The microphones are off. Our microphones are off. I don't know. I never turned mine on. I can never find it. I, I... Contract or something about vendor. Right. Yeah, I know. I keep looking for the word contract. I'm just not bumping into it. Vendor. Which one are you on? <laughs> oh, you don't know. Okay, yeah. The reputation. Oh, that's not going to... Oh, there it is. I think it's RSA 91A, colon 3, uh, Roman, uh, comma, Roman numeral 2C. No? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. And you need to call the police. Mm -hmm. There's a penny glass litigation. Bullies off the road. I, I see nothing that says the word contract in here. What do you want to use? Just anyway. Just so that I know that you've seen it. Can I make, yes. Can I make a helpful suggestion? Yes, please. When you put out your agenda for the, for the day, yeah. include the citing specific. Oh, yeah. This was, came as a surprise to us. No, I understand. Yeah. But it's, it has RSA 91 dash colon, I mean, dash A colon 3, comma, yep. Roman numeral 2. A through E, so he just didn't know what it would be pertaining to. Okay. All right. Well, I will stipulate for the record that this involves a contract negotiation, and then I will just list this as 91A3A uh, uh, through E. Uh, e. Roll call. All right, so now i got a roll call uh, to enter the non-public ses session. Henry Spencer is I. Lenny Espy. Aye. And John Meisner. Aye. All right. And we entered non-public at uh, 6, call it 40 p.m. All right. 
one level, level pickup truck, eight foot bed, is forty dollars. Anything, if it goes one two, by, if it goes above that level, it doesn't matter if it's one two by four, or make another trip. It's well, no, it's ten dollars more. No, I'm saying if you're oh yeah, 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 you're yeah. at home, make yeah. another trip. It's ten dollars right? more. Six yes. foot bed is thirty, and again, anything higher than this, the the level bed is ten dollars right. more. And Randy goes like this, you know, he, and I says, you know, it's just too complicated right now. Well, I have the for, six foot bed. For, yeah. So I can go that much higher. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he said, he goes, you know, he, he applauded us for getting on the right track. Yeah. Are you interested uh, in taking Cheryl's time to go over her color coded uh, receipt? Yeah. That's, that's fine. You want to do oh. that, Cheryl? You want me to go get my. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl, do you, do you have the clock okay, time to do this? Okay. I'm All right. But uh, so we need to really come down with a, a, a policy, a job description for... Handling money. Well, yeah. that's part of it, yeah. but I think we have to... Well, they're come, already handling money. Yeah. Yeah, but here, here's, here's, the, here's the thing. Who, who handles the money? I say, this is my own personal opinion, yeah. is we leave that up to the foreman or his designee. Right. So in other words, the yeah. foreman would be Mark. Yeah. And if he's on vacation or... Yeah, we can impose whatever. a system, but he, he's responsible for this facility, so he can have whoever lives, Correct. manages the system. Is Correct. Okay. Right. And so the foreman or the designee. Yep. The use of the booth and the, and the speed bumps is to the foreman or the designee would be up at that booth. Right. Stopping the people with those, mm -hmm. those things, those cards to give. Yep. And say, okay, check the, like everybody else, like Randy says, you go into Wolfboro, you stop at the gate, the guy at the, well, they call it the office, but, it, yeah. he's, and they check the, the load. The border crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they check the load, and they say, okay, uh, Henry, you got to pay $30. You got a washing machine and a refrigerator. So it's 30, 20 and 10. They collect the money. They give them the people one of these, one of those, and they go down to the guys at the correct for the red shed, and they hand it to them. So they've paid with the person at the gate. Okay. The the resident is given this. And if green is because it's, no, no, it was paper I had at home. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So um, this is Freon. So they brought in a, one Freon item. Right. They're given this coupon, yeah. and then they will go to the red shed, stop before the guys. Here's my coupon, and then the other guys. So you're saying the coupons get picked up here? No, 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 no. They're going to be. You, they can buy them here if they want to pay by check. Okay. Or they're going to get them right at the first gate. Right at the, at the red shed. Right at the okay. red shed. Yeah. Right. So they're going to carry it from the not actually the red yes. shed. What it's is just, that? It's the way they deal drugs right. in the inner right. city. From yeah. what I get from TV. You know? mm -hmm. And I then, talked with these guys at great lengths. Oh yeah, they're that. they're. And they, Mark does not want to be up at that low shed. Well, he says, you know, he says you start stop, stopping people there. He says, if I get in a confrontation, I'm all by myself. Whereas okay, if okay. it happens at the red shed, there's two other guys there. But he said, if you start stopping people there, pretty soon they're going to be out to 153. Well. So he says, let's just keep it the way it's going. We're not having a problem. He says, all we're going to do is just start charging for more stuff. So you got to kind of look at their, their side of it because, well, you know, they're the ones that are working. It. They're the ones that are there. You so know? it's one thing. And if you start backing cars up on uh, Snow, Road. Snow Road, I mean, now you're... you're pissing people off. Well, that too, but I mean, you know, you got emergency vehicles you got to think of too. So, John, I understand you've been working with having them stop up at the top. Um, I mean, hearing Mark's concern about that, I'm kind of like falling back and going, you know, that argument where he's, if he is in a confrontation, he's by himself, carries some weight with me. Yeah, I, I mean, the shed was put up there for a specific right. reason. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's why we have a phone. We don't tell them to get in no, the No, there's no phone in there. I, I know. It, it was a cordless phone that was down in the white shed. They could call the white shed. They hit 
a speed dial, I think it was mm -hmm. one, and it would call the shed. And that's and they say, hey, listen, I got a problem here. That's the only reason. All right, so as far as this, the traffic flow goes, I'm kind of in favor of letting the people that actually manage this facility offer to us the way they'd like to deal with it. And then we look at it and say, is there a liability issue that we need to consider? Um, is there anything else? Because one of the things that ends up happening if they're doing it by the shed is it creates more cars paused at the shed. Then I've got people trying to go around them to get around the end and do all this right. stuff. Where do you stop the people? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that becomes the issue. Place. Right? So, you know, I mean, one place to kind of put, think about putting the shed is at the bottom of the hill, but before you get into it, but the same you problem can't. happens, you can't move it. Oh, well, well, it's because it's electric, right? Yeah, oh, okay. it's got power in it. It's got yeah. power. Okay, well, all right. But I mean, that was their concern. They'd, they'd just rather stop the people at the Red We could the certainly shed. try it. Yeah. Well, one thing, put it this way, is it yeah. just, just try certainly try it. This program yeah. isn't going to increase the amount of times that they had to deal with this. I mean, it's not as if people yeah. are going to start throwing away more stuff now that we're charging for it. Right. I mean, I don't imagine they'll throw away less either. But uh, they've been able to deal with the situation up to now. I've always, got to admit, I've always looked at the primary concern is just that, yes, they collect money, but we're increasing the amount of money they're going to have. Yeah. Um, and what do they do with money on Sunday afternoon? Where do they put it? No. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard same to, place it's, they put it now. Yes. Yeah, same <laughs> place they put it now. Well, as long as, it's, I don't even. It's not on the premises. Okay. It's it, not. So, it, it, is it acceptable to the selecting where it's being kept? Yeah, I don't yeah. have a problem. I don't have a problem. Okay. All right. So, I'm trying to think is, is that for the employee ease protection, and I understand why, because we're on cameras, is that this, I'm not going to mention where it's kept, but we need to have some record for the employee's protection. This is that this is the place where you're going to keep the money when you can't get it after you close to the town. Correct. That should be part of, that's just to protect them. And that's In case something part. happens. And something that's what they well, do what was it there for? Well, it's, you know, it's right here on paper. And they do that, and they have it worked out amongst each other, was John was saying. Well, I don't, we don't need to get into how they do it. I'm just No, I wasn't going to say. Just, we need to get it They have it covered. Someplace. Yeah. Yeah, it just needs to be down officially that this is what they select and approved. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking uh, I don't necessarily want to go into a non-public, but when you're talking about that, that is actually talking about contracts and job descriptions and stuff like that. We could do that at a non-public and then seal the minutes. That way, if it ever became an issue for the employees, an employer folder, we can put right on the envelope for the non-public what it's about. And they could say right in the employee thing that any issue over storage, I mean, blah, 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 that there's a folder in the file and pull it out and there's, there's the agreement. And that way it's not open for other people to come and say it's a public document. I'd like to see where you hide the money. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, right. see, does that seem like a legal way to do it to you? Yep. Okay, all right. So I'll put that down on the agenda for, uh, well, we, well, we don't have a regular meeting. It wouldn't be till the 31st that we really set that up. And as far as the little tally sheet there. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not saying that I'm not saying exactly hold what off we the use. No, I'm no, just no, 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 no. Written down. We'll this, yeah. this Henry was just... We a need tool. coupons yeah. here yeah. Yeah, for if people who want here. to buy yeah. them by check here. Right. Right. And then these are just going to be the tally sheets that cool. are associated with that color coupon. Right. These were just colors I had at home. Yeah, okay. Right. So that's um, pretty much what we've been doing. And with it's tires. basically what we've been doing with the I don't tires. know if we need different colors. I mean. That was. Um, the gentleman had talked about that. Oh, the staff okay. had talked about that. Just yeah, identifying. Give them what they want. Yeah. Just identifying it differently. Right. So that they're not, because right yeah, now, I mean, they flip their sheet, their white sheets for tires and electronics, and, you know, sometimes they have to have a scratch out because they put it on the wrong one because it's black and white. Yeah. No, if they so that's see why color, their suggestion was, well, why don't we, I'd rather, I think rather have, if we're going to use red, have red for free on items. <laughs> Because I'm picturing uh, I, I'm, I won't spend a lot of time on color. That's okay. Do, if they want to color, give them color. Okay. Yeah. They just and it's easy to be short it, truths. Right? You, you end up not even having to really read it, you know. You right. know well, and that's basically until what they do. Until I figure out to keep short truths, little squares of short truths paper in our pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, right. that works out. And one of the things that you um, that you're going to have to be prepared for next week for the public hearing is the start date for this. You yep, want to make you. it effective right. November first, which happens to be a Wednesday. 
Why not? Because by that we've point, been talking about this for yeah, yeah. two whole Some months videos? right now. Yeah, I, November first. Okay. okay. All right. We just got to let them guys know. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, I will see them. <laughs> I will tell yeah, we have to. I will let them know. know. Okay. Well, we can announce it that night. Too. I know. Well, that's I'm what sure I mean. Mark, but we'll, yeah, he'll want to. Well, Mark's going to be here. So. Mark and the guys will be here. Yeah. So, so if we if we introduce this system, what new responsibilities do we need to reference in the job description other than um, handling the money? Um, and that is a question of uh, two things. Uh, how long they can take to get it from the transfer station to here, right? Well, there must be already a job description with because they're has already to be, taking money. There's a way they do it now. Right. They're so they're here the money, on a so Monday morning. Yeah. Whoever has it. Okay. Well, I'm, 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 and so they're here Monday morning. If it's a holiday, they're here Tuesday morning. Okay. All right. And they, they right now. That's yeah. what well, I the mean. reason I'm asking the questions is those things that we you know, I can go check and make sure they're in it. But let's talk about what we we want to see in it, and then we'll just go make sure it's there. So. It's essentially where the money. Yeah, why don't you go get, I'll go take a look at where the money's kept. Right. I like I said, the foreman yeah. or his designee would be in charge. Okay. So, so they, whoever the foreman is, which probably would be Mark, yeah, would be in charge of that, like he is now. Okay. Yeah. So would you mind get 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 together with Mark and just talk it over and get get his ideas and then write them down and we'll see if we could adopt the way he wants to do it. Yeah. He could. I mean, I've been in. I've been in. I've been in Somebody pull in with the TV and Max over here and right. talking to somebody. Right, so would you want Max? It's, hey, guys, got a TV. So. Yeah. Okay. So when we check the job description, if there's anything that needs to be changed or added, would you mind going over that with Mark and no. taping a few notes and come to us and say these are the proposed changes? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. I mean, there must be something written down because they handle. You're going to have to write something, develop something. Right. Right. Um, All right, so okay, so um, so number one, it's when you take it in. Uh, what do we take checks? No. 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 All right, we don't take credit cards, obviously. No. So it's a cash only business. So this has to be listed someplace, yeah. right? Cash. If they want to pay by check, they come in here. They come here, yeah. Or this they or they request it. Okay, right. on site and in office are two different things. Then. Yeah. Okay, on site and then at office. What the heck did I have? Could they do a credit card at the office? No. no. Okay, no. check no. and cash at office. You can only pay your taxes on it. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, so we got on-site is cash only. Um, and, and again, in the job description, you want to be a little careful about what you said, because that's a public record. But essentially, um, it's just the normal handling of the money. Um, do we have a lockbox? Yeah, they have one. Okay. Um, they have a cash box, right? We have a yeah. cash box. Do we want the guy that's in charge of that carrying change in his pocket? All right, and the way I recommend that is the cash box has a, a change pouch in it. Well, we're not going to need change. It's all even money. You mean five dollars, ten dollars? Right, so I got a yeah. twenty dollar bill and I'm dropping off a five dollar okay, item. So I want fifteen yeah. bucks back. Yeah, so what yeah, I'm thinking is, is that the cash box should contain. Well, we don't have any five dollar items. Okay, so it's a ten dollar <laughs> item. But twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we. Right. I mean, we're going to do way. fifteen, but. All right. Yeah. So that's just a question of, of, of the system yes. of setting up the cash box because who's carrying the change around becomes the responsibility of the manager of the well, station. Here, Correct. Here, this is part of the policy. It does. They have it. They it's do. part of yeah. the policy. That we need to write a policy and add a job description. The foreman shall make the call and report to the selectman on what was taken in that day and record it and well, I can't read my Shall make the call. So the foreman really is the guy in charge. Yeah, he's the guy that's going to make the call. He's going to inspect the the uh, the, the merchandise right. and say tally up everything, right. and tell John Myers to owe the town thirty bucks. Okay. How often so, do you want the guy doing that to rectify the till? On uh, weekly. What do you mean? Yeah. What the end of the end just of like the, it is now. Yeah, just like it is now. Yeah, just like Wait, it is now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then who handles the money? The foreman or his designee? Right. If he's on vacation right. or he's yeah. sick or he goes somewhere, right. he says, "Okay, Lenny, you're, you you take care of it." But is it so, is it your understanding that if he's on site, generally speaking, he the will foreman be, does it. If That's, he's on site, the foreman the, is the man. The designee only is for when he's not there. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. 
Yeah. So like and what then, he's doing when he comes here to get the trash and stuff. Yeah. He could designate somebody else to get the money. Right. Sure. Correct. Cool. All right. And then the use, and then it said, well, the booth is is moot right now and speed bumps. I just prefer to put speed bumps in there for safety. I would too. And Especially if we're going to be stopping more traffic down on the flat. The, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember when we first, Mark used to get run over. Yeah. Um, not run over. Yeah. Almost get run over. But I think the speed bumps are, and if you probably go to the safety committee, the safety committee would probably have to say that in that situation, speed bumps would be appropriate. Well, we have them. We had them. We still have them. No, yeah. we yeah. put it this way. As, as a member of the safety committee. Just take it out in the wintertime. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. As, 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 a, as a member of the safety committee, I will um, make a note to myself to bring that up uh, to the safety committee. Does the selectman recommend the use of a speed bump when road conditions allow, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's what okay. they're there for. The, and it's public safety. Yeah. It's not just. No, I get you. Speed. You know. Do you think they need one more? Because they only have the one. Um, what I would end up doing there is, is that one member of the safety committee is a selectman, another is the fire chief, and I would get probably the two of them to go out and look at it and decide whether or not we need more than one. All right? Well, not the fire chief, the police chief. Police chief. Police chief. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Police chief. Oh, I think one would suffice. I mean, and put it down. Don't put it right at the beginning. Put that's it. what. That's where it was. Yeah. Down and a couple corner. of guys went through the the roof, but yeah. that they kind yeah. of stopped. Live and learn. After that, yeah. <laughs> But if you get it down, coming down the hill on the curve, you know, okay. it slows what everybody else, down pretty well there. Um, we yeah. should have put a sign. Upcoming fee changes or just what the fees are? What the fees are. Okay. We should get a sign made. And we also should be looking into what? Oh, I was... Yeah. <laughs> what we should <laughs> also be look, yes. looking into is there's a lot of grants available for the transfer station. Not just signage. Right. Recyclable grants. Do you need... The, the, I had a lengthy conversation with a great guy with a ton of knowledge, Juan Davis. Hmm. And he suggested that you get in touch with... Uh, what's that? New Hampshire the Beautiful? Uh -huh. Re Resource Recovery? No. It's New Hampshire the Beautiful, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. There's the one that made us the, that... That sign? Yeah. You get in touch with them. You tell them what you want to do. Get... What, right. what improvements can we make? He said there might even be a grant out for a cement pad. Right. Okay. He, because he got a, a lot of stuff for Ossipy. Right. Now, the only thing he did say was that um, you got to be very careful when you inspect the stuff. Make sure the stuff is going in the right pile, which it, it, it's going right, so anyway. So if you create divisions and flow, it's your responsibility. But sure. Ossipy is set up a lot different than Right, this. yes, right. Yeah. So, I mean... He just said New Hampshire the Beautiful is a great place yeah. to look. You can get uh, protective gear through them. Yeah. You can oh. get, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, you can't abuse it, but I mean, you can get a lot of stuff through them. Okay, and so he's there, not sure about that. Right. Anything else on the job description? No, that's okay. all. No, that's all I have. I mean, you guys can more than. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I'll poke around a little bit tomorrow. I'm just, <laughs> just looking. See. At this here, that's all I have. When you're in tomorrow, Henry, Claudia does have something that the state puts out that re we are required for the transfer station to have certain, um, uh, not job descriptions, but certain policies that we have to Okay. Do. So she said to Bring it into a line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, I'll sort of take the lead on just the paperwork of this anyway, so right, I'll start that tomorrow, and then if there's any stuff I get, I'll look at the state requirements and, you know, cut and paste them into a single document. Uh, the spelling will probably be wrong. Like, you know, <laughs> you but, spell check. But it's a draft. <laughs> I've fooled it many, many times, you know. Yes. The only way I've gotten to some words is to think of a, think of a simile yeah. <laughs> that I can spell. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right, spell simile. Well, yeah. Uh, no, thank you. I could. I just choose not to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good sure. way out. Man. Sure. Good right. way out. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, budget stuff. Uh, in the sense that we need to get ready for roads and bridges, but yeah. until we get the earth stuff from battles, there's not much we can talk about. Correct. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been 
you know, in the minutes it was uh, put in a paper and all blah that we decided to do from Champion Hill as far as the money will take us, essentially. Nine, Nine three hundred feet. Yeah, right. Yeah. So the door bus is sold. Transfer station. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't ask John the. Uh, did you go down to? Uh, I just didn't even think about it. Driven by it too. Jo uh, John, John's Road. They didn't road. start yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you know what? It's meant to be warm the next couple of days. I know. I think I I called them this morning. They didn't call me back. Right. I see the whole bunch of trucks there at six thirty in the morning. Right. So as soon as I get into, you know, I get on the phone, and I call them, but they're busy. Yeah. I guess allocating what I mean, they're going to do. I was today. like either tomorrow or the day after is meant to hit seventies, and that might be the last time that yeah. we're going to hit seventy degrees. No, so. I've never seen anybody this all the times I've been by. Every six in the morning. Yeah. They all come from. D.D. or Irving, they right. get their coffee, and then they file right over there. Right, this pizza. And, they, yeah. <laughs> and then next thing you know, there's a car. If you're getting gas in Irving and you got to make a left, or you got to get on 16, yeah. if these guys are going, it's like a funeral. They don't <laughs> let you. <laughs> it's crazy. So, would you mind just giving them a bump? No, so I, no I, I did. I called them this morning. I think the day after tomorrow, was, I heard in the news. Yeah, I called Saturday. them. I, I yeah. put a message in. Okay. Because yeah. I got to figure temperature matters to a degree. I mean, I don't know how far they can get on that, but they can go right up Pine River Road. You know, I was, t I was any any road, you know, to use it up. Yeah. Oh no, I just yeah, but they're going to use it up. Yeah. Because uh, I told them to start on uh, Jones first. Right. Because that is fairly. Yeah, a little it, better than it, Drake. Exactly. So use the resources on that road <coughs> first right. and then work out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And something else we could we could also look into is uh, like like Jones work we could look into maybe next year what would it cost to shim some of that. Right. Because some of it is just beyond crack seal. Yeah. You know, I mean it it's really is beyond. Yeah. So if you if you shim it and you can maybe save a little bit of that. Right. You know, I don't know. I, but it's a thought. All right, so if we're going to, if the budget committee wants us on roads, and I'd rather not give them a budget than add something to it. If we no, want to talk about doing some, do you see any ability to raise money to do any shimming plus the pay? I think we should, We what we could do is just keep the uh, crack seal on what you have it already. Right. And just put crack sealing and or shimmy. Okay. And Use then, that money for... And then bump it to 20. What? What is it now? 15. Well, well, leave it at 15. Okay. And just see what happens. Well, I don't I don't know what... He might say, you know, don't waste your money. All right. So we, okay. So what we're looking at using that budget for is it's it's essentially surface protection. Or, or here's, another, here's another thing. Or we can use some of that SB38 money because we didn't... Uh, allocate any money for shimming yeah. and do the shimming, but I, I really like to keep the the, the culvert work. I, so would I. You and, know, and going. The way, the way I'm going to do shimming, I'd rather see shimming on Elm Street. Right. Well, I agree. Yeah. I agree it's because a it's a main thoroughfare. Yeah. It gets you know, a hell of a lot more. Traffic. Oh yeah, and 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 also not to negate that, but Pine River Road. You know, there's some spots that you know the. The mountain's coming up through. <laughs> and, yeah, it's coming up now. <laughs> I mean, you take three or four loads of patch on Elm Street, you could do a lot with that. Yeah. You know, to improve it. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, with it. but here again, you have to have the equipment. You've yeah. got to have a roller. Well, no, I like John's it. idea about taking that budget line that we had for uh, crack sealing and when we kind of changed the name to surface. Protection. Resurface, yeah. yeah. You know, it's not quite that. You know, it's limited. Road resurface. Yeah, it's, it's a small job kind of thing. But we'll figure that out. But I like that idea. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of, lot, you know, we yeah. neglected the roads. That and the roads, quite frankly, are the infrastructure. Right. Yeah. Road resurface, and I think that's what the crack ceiling was. Yeah, that's, this, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Yeah. yeah. So we were just informed the budget committee that we're expanding the definition of that a little bit. Right? Yeah, and resurface. I mean, what if they don't. Just if if we if it warrants us that we can resurface, fine. Yeah. But it gives us the latitude yeah. to I use that line really sense. It's good. for not just. Yeah, yeah. I'm all for this. Uh, uh, each money. year we get a little further and a lot. Correct. We use but, a lot less crack yeah. seal. And then you're finding out that a, a road that was done well really doesn't need it for another three years. No, maybe two, maybe three. But, yeah. Uh, I, I I think I think for the most part, I, yeah. yeah. Right now, my own personal view of driving all the tarred roads anyway, yeah. 
they have to be reclaimed because we're just laying tar well, I look, over. I, yeah, uh, and I drive a lot of roads, over. and our roads are really aren't all that bad, but I look at what happened to Townhouse Road, and I gotta admit that when it was happening before I was selected, I was like, I don't know if this is the best system to do it. Well, having been through <laughs> yeah. numerous years, not looking at it that way and realizing that that is the way to see it. Um, but the nicest thing I see on Townhouse Road is, is we didn't cheap out on the road. We spent the money to do it right so that the next people that have to take care of it, you just basically have to pave it. You yeah. don't have to reclaim it. No. But it's if you just come into some it's of just like Country Bridge There's road. parts of Green Mountain Road, if we just paved them, you know, knocked the bumps down and paved them, you'd have to reclaim them in eight years again. You know, yeah, it's, it's like Country Bridge. That's yeah. where we, actually, that's where we experimented. Yeah. With the reclamation. Down by the bridge itself, yeah. yeah. It could be because uh, F.R. Carroll said, you know, you should really check this yeah, process. reclamation process out. It's short enough. Yeah. You know, it wasn't six grand, but, you know, okay. but I think it was like four. But um, anyway, it you can see the stuff that it brings up yeah. that's that you don't even see until the winter time. So the, the SB38 money is just general culvert maintenance. You know, I would like to see. I, mean, I would like to see it because we uh, it hit. we're never going to raise the money to do it. Uh, yeah, we are going to raise the money to pave roads. We are going to raise raise the money to reclaim roads because that's two hundred thousand dollars. But when you start talking about trying to raise thirty thousand dollars to fix culverts and just to clean them out, um, I think you might have a. You, that's where you run into a little bit of problem. So I think using that money is a wise use of that money because it's it's work that we put off and it's work we're going to continue to put off because we got to put so much money into our roads and Correct. bridges right now. And the infrastructure, and like Lenny said, Elm Street. Yeah. You know, Elm Street is a main. If you look on the the winter road contract, you'll see prior. You know, first. Prior, yeah, do it first. Yeah, yeah. Priority, yeah. priority. Priority road. road. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, and that's why. The town, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, what do you call it? And thank God we did do it because. Ossipy, when we had that, remember the brush fire we had in yeah. Los Valley? Yeah. If Ossipy wasn't on the other side of that, and I think they went through Pie Cut's property, Bill Pie Cut's property, yeah. I'm not sure, to fight that. You know, I mean, it's just, it, it just makes sense to infrastructure and move out. Yeah, and I get, get you. And I'm get, all for it. And get it done the right way. All right, um, uh, so... We need the numbers on what the earthwork will be on that. Yeah, so we, we can those call together. Bob and Bob can... Uh, right. Uh, we don't really have to run the SB38 money by the budget no. committee. The selectmen can disperse that money at their own risk, so to speak. You know what I mean? You know, we can just make up our mind what we want to do and take the flack or take the uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm leaving you to assume which it will be. Uh, so. But, I mean, I think so we should... work on the transfer station paperwork. I'll get that tomorrow. Is there anything else you want to bring up tonight? I mean, uh, I'm not in a rush to get out. I'm just no, asking. No, I'm just thinking, wait a minute. Uh, no, I, but next week we have transfer station. And we get that budget. Oh, police? Pretty much set. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The transfer station. Yeah. yeah. And the police, we yeah. did that today. Uh, and next and week... And the officer. But we've got to come up with some of our budget so they can have it a week. She, she's working on it. A week before. Well, that's what, uh, yeah. the way it works. The week before is on the 24th after our work session. We basically need to hand them roads and bridges. Yeah. All right. And then on the 31st, we need to just our general road budget. Right. Which would be. Well, we don't even have our roads and bridges budget done. Well, the roads and bridges is paving project. Well, the bridges yeah. are done. I mean, it's all paved. We carry that money over. Right. Snow Road is all paid for already. Right. And Elm Street, we can carry and the, Elm Street. and the estimates that we've gotten so far are pretty close to what we had raised for. So the, the roads and bridges right now are done. We might need to add a little. I mean, bit. not roads. Yeah. We, bridges. What am I just talking about? Bridges. bridges. Yeah, but yeah. we might need to add a little something to it. You know, Elm Street, because it's an increased thing, um, hopefully what he was going to do is get the bids out there uh, segmented. This is what he said yeah. last week. So he could come back to us, and he was well aware of the fact that we need this information fairly quickly. I don't mind going to the budget committee say we're giving you everything you can, but because of the request from the well, of the community, we're dealing with an engineer. We can't get you the numbers till we get to the When I call Ekman tomorrow, I can ask yeah. him if okay. he's got that. Yeah, and just drive home again that we got budget committee looking at us for yeah. something. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. Good. And the roads, if you get a hold of Bob and Bob wants to do the 93, because that's what I asked for the wheel to measure it. You know, it's about a mile and three. And three quarters, yeah. I think. It, uh, I got a measure anyway with my house. I, I don't. 
I didn't know what, if it was over there or else I would have got it. But then the other, the next week we need to put together a regular road budget, you know, how much we're going to have for, you know, gravel and what repairs we want to do with the uh, surface reclamation or whatever that budget line, surface treatment, we need to figure yeah. out what we're going to do on that. That goes the week after. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this Winter gets roads. in both budget a week before before they want to talk to us. Winter roads and some of the roads yeah. are in there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's 9,300 9, feet by 216. Right. Yeah. is the average width of Green Mountain Road. Okay. Some is a little bit narrow, some is a little bit wider, yeah. but to keep it uniform, yeah. it's 21. What time are we meeting the Budget Committee next week? Seven, uh, seven I believe. Okay, so we, we're meeting at five. We've got the transfer station here. Oh, it was, really it should have been 6.30, but it could have done Well, okay, we'll say six public three. hearings at five, so. Right, that shouldn't take much more than 20 minutes, no, I wouldn't same. think. And then we have a work session, yeah. and we can put together uh, the, the final stuff on the roads and bridges budget, hopefully by that point, right? Bring the information into that meeting and we can prepare a document to hand to the budget committee. Right. Yeah. Because that's what they're asking for a week ahead of time. Yeah. All right. So, Great. all right. So we can, uh, now, as far as getting the budget ready for the budget committee, do you want to get together before next Tuesday? Well, we're going to be here Thursday. It's the day after tomorrow. For the lawyer, I don't know if you're going to be here. I know I'm going to be here. Yeah, because he I know. Wants me yeah, to be here. yeah. But you've been in on the story. I yeah. wasn't necessarily planning on. That's it. okay. That's uh, fine. I did. It. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. All right, but we can probably do all that Tuesday then. Yeah, but as long as we have the numbers from uh, Tuesday night. That's a planning board and ZBA mostly Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Land use. Yeah. yeah. As long as we have the That's figures from Ekman on the proposed cost for the bridge, Elm Street, Snow Road. Well, Snow Road, we got it already. Right. Right. Uh, all I really liked to them was the verification that the uh, quote that they, the estimate they gave us for, you know, estimate of what the job might cost and stuff is still valid. Yeah. That's the only information. And then we can go to the budget committee and say the numbers uh -huh. haven't changed from last year. All right. So, I mean. Okay. You know, uh, I don't have any problem with the budget committee asking for this information a week before. Uh, I, I you know, either they're going to look at it and study it or they're not, but I think they right. should have the ability to do it if the yeah. individual member wants to. So yeah, I think that's sprung a, on in that evening. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a very fair request. Yeah. Okay, so, and that's why I'm trying to make sure that we know that we can get the roads and bridges stuff together, enough information for them to give them that night, because that's a week ahead of the meeting we're going to talk yeah. about it. Okay? All right. Good. Yeah. Anything else? No. You good? Lenny? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah. I got nothing else. I'm, I'm talked out. Okay, so just so, to clarify, are you going to get a hold of Bob about Green Mountain? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to ask that question. Yeah. yeah. All right. no, yeah. If yeah. you want to, that's fine. Uh, just bring it back. Yeah, and I'll start looking at the uh, job description. So, oh, one other thing I did get, and I am going to, I might have to take like a, 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 a action on my own. Uh, we got. Two concerns, one about mold in town and one about bed bugs. I'm going to be calling the Municipal Association because they have a bed bug expert to find out what authority the health officer has. And then the same thing with a mold. And then I'm going to run by the town's attorney. How does the health officer prove that there is a problem? Because all this stuff is changing. So I probably will. Uh, I don't think we have any jurisdiction over that. Right. And, and, but there is, there's got to be a way to, if somebody's complaining about mold in a rental unit, that's a, that's a civil matter, though. That could, that's up to the landlord. Yeah, I mean, it's in some ways, but in some ways it's not, because I had a mold issue on Pine River, uh, on Green Mountain Road, three years ago, and there was reason for a uh, health officer to go check. So, you have to I, check. Yeah, just all I'm saying is it I'll put hurt. together, get my ducks in a row, and before I talk to the attorney, so I have a very specific question to ask, but just so you guys are aware, I may have a communication with the attorney on this issue, okay? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, other than that, I, I, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Yeah. Okay. Second, yeah. Yeah. Second, and all those in favor say aye. 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 So is dinner going to be ready when I get home? Yeah.